Well, look where I am today. The weather's a bit bad today, uh, but here we are, look. Look where we are. We're at the, the, uh, the scene where all the mods uh, arrive in Brighton, uh, where uh, Jimmy first sees the Ace Face, uh, played by Sting, and uh, the amusing scene where Chalky arrives and says, uh, thanks for waiting for me after that rockers had run him off the road on the ride in I've got to say I'm getting a bit of a kick out of this my van being here I know it doesn't mean out but Quadrophenia is my favourite film ever so it's uh, scooter <laughs> it's quite nice uh, to be uh, walking around having a look I don't know who else is going to find this interesting, but uh, I certainly do. So, uh, I'll move on to the next locations. And there you go. Look at that. Oh, look, Mod World. I didn't see that. There you go. It's a shame that's not open. I'd like to have a look in there. Yeah, anyway, there you go. So here we are at the dance hall where Jimmy climbed on top of the speakers and uh, did his cool dance and did a stage dive or a speaker dive and the bouncers threw him out of the, uh, the dance hall. This is now the Sea Life Centre in Brighton. I just love the uh, architecture of this place. It looks really good. It looks totally different in the film. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go inside because there's a queue. Yeah. Submarine there. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the dance hall scene from the film. Brilliant. I've tried to get this as as close to the angle uh, what they used in the film. This is where Jimmy. I've been get, getting thrown out of the uh, nightclub. Spent the night on the beach and uh, found himself at this point deep in thought. And the water's trying to get me like it was getting to him. Uh, and then a boat, a boat came in across there. Um, at least I'm a bit sheltered from the wind on this shop. Uh, it's been a, bit, been a bit of a day for weather. I've waited half a day for it to stop raining. Look at this sea. You wouldn't want to be out there in a the boat, would you? Maybe on a surfboard. But, uh, yep. Jimmy did a dive off the speakers and the bouncers threw him out. And uh, his bad temper cost him the girl that night because we were there with Steph and she'd already <laughs> dumped her chap who she'd gone with and uh, her and a friend had booked a room so if Jimmy had kept his cool he'd have spent a nice night in a in a bed and breakfast instead of on this beach uh, you see how uh, I tried recreating it for you <laughs> I've just climbed over some barriers up there that said beach closed because of high seas. So I'm putting some effort in for you. I didn't uh, didn't know all this were here. This this isn't shown on the film. So uh, yeah, we must have just closed off this section of beach for, for for filming on that day. Anyway, I'm going to take some photographs. at the cafe or used to be the cafe I don't exactly know which one of these units it was but uh, the beach cafe closed down uh, looking at reviews on it you'd let things slide or whoever owned it let things slide people were saying that they, it would only open on the back of it being in the movie 
as you can imagine but so Jimmy spent the night on the beach after getting thrown out of the dance hall uh, and then met up with his mates at the beach cafe the next morning where he was definitely on uh, one of the worst come downs from drugs he's had in a long time um, that's where the scene where uh, Dave bites into his sandwich and uh, ends up with egg on his face <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a shame the cafe's gone it's the only, the only location that, that has gone so it's a bit of a shame really but uh, these people here must be absolutely crackers they've been out swimming Honestly, it's half past seven in the morning. I'm wrapped up and I'm freezing. Look at them people, look at them absolutely cracking. After a, a good old time in the dance hall, uh, Chalky and Dave decided that they were gonna try and camp down for the night in these arches here. Now, on entering one, it was pitch black and they were trying to decide whether they wanted to stay there. And a voice in the darkness said, well, make your fucking mind up. Anyway, they camped down for the night, not realising that they were camping in the same place as some rockers. And they only found out when they woke up to the bare ass of one of the rocker girls in the morning. And one of the rockers uh, gave them a nudge and said, hurry up, I've heard of some mugs at that. Well, these are the archers, actually. <laughs> It looks like it could be the original doors on some of them, but bear, bearing in mind it's been 41 years since the film made, I doubt it, but uh, like everything else in Brighton, they're looking rough. They really need to tidy this place up. Well, here I am on Brighton Beach at the scene of the big fight between the, uh, the mods and the rockers. The rockers? turned up on my bikes, up against them railings there and uh, a fight ensued where people were hitting each other with broken deck chairs and throwing each other in the sea the police came down that ramp over there on the horses and started uh, battening everybody all these uh, Archways are different now, they have got little cafes and stuff like that. Quite an apt photograph here. So, I thought I'd include that. Somebody's put their photography artwork on all these things. That's some absolutely fantastic, fantastic pictures. But anyway, that's another quadrophenia location in the bag. All this has changed, none of this uh, pathway and seats and stuff were here. Everybody were just brawling and throwing each other into the sea down there. Um, so yeah, I'll move on. This wind's not happening. Remember this? This is the alleyway where Jimmy and Steph came down. Look at the state of this. They went through this, this door here and had a quickie just behind that wall there. Look at all the graffiti. Yeah. It's not good, is it? Why can't people just not do this? Who cares, Barry? Who cares, Barry, that you were here? You dickhead. I hope you see this, Barry, because you're a wanker. But yeah, I don't mind the stickers. The stickers are alright. All you need is so. Yeah. I don't think the stickers are alright. Because they're not on the walls, but yeah. The iconic alleyway. Today the weather's been well blowing bad. I'm surprised uh, I've got it done, but I shall go in search of the cafe. I made a mess in here. I made a proper mess. So, 
Jimmy's uh, been kicked out of his home, he's fallen out with all his friends. He's returned to Brighton. He's wandered around all the places he's been where he had fun. And it's not the same, there's nothing happening. Eventually, he walks down the Brighton front and he, uh, he turns this corner here. And there it is, unfortunately, today. Uh, the scaffolding up right where it didn't need to be. But where these boards are, he sees uh, the ace face as Scooter and thinking that he uh, finally he's found part of what was fun to him. And at that moment, Sting comes out of that doorway there, dressed as a bellboy and comes running down the path to a car where he collects three suitcases from a, a rich bloke and goes running in, running back into the hotel. On seeing this, Jim is incensed. He's really angry. Uh, so he follows him down to the doorway and uh, watches him struggling in with three suitcases. And he realizes that he's not the ace face. He's just a fake and none of it's and none of it's any good. It's a lot of rubbish. So he loses his temper and he shouts, Bell boy! Bell boy! into the doorway. And then he returns back down here to the scooter where he pulls a bunch of keys out of his pocket, finds one that starts it and steals Sting's scooter and rides off. And then he heads down the coast a little bit to uh, Beachy Head where he uh, eventually launches the scooter over the edge and it crashes down onto the rocks below uh, and that's the end scene and beginning of the film scene where Jimmy's finally had enough of being a mod and he realises that he's not different by doing that um, and that's it, that's where the film ends but there you go, that's the, uh, the Grand Hotel slightly different on the, bit, on the front of it put an orangery on the front of it, I think that's what they call it. And this gentleman here has put his scaffolding up and ruined my shot, but there you go. So that's it. I've run out of locations for this video in Brighton anyway. Um I don't need to watch. Um let me get out of this wind. I did I did go to uh I thought this was the cafe, uh, but obviously it isn't. I did go to. Am I? Oh, sure. I did go to the uh, Beachy Head Cliffs, where Jimmy threw Sting's scooter off the cliff at the end of the film and walked away, which is actually the opening scenes of the movie. But uh, my intentions were to fly the drone along the same route as Jimmy rode the scooter and then fly it off the edge where the scooter went off. But when I got there, lo and behold, signpost saying no drones. God knows why. I mean, why, why would you not be able to fly a drone over Beachy Head? You know, the worst that's going to happen is it's going to be end up with a battery in the sea. And I thought with all the crap we've pumped into the sea over the years, one sealed LiPo battery won't make any difference. But there you go. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, uh, movie locations video, let's say. Uh, Hopefully you'll have got a bit of enjoyment out of this. I know I have, despite the weather. I've enjoyed visiting these locations and uh, well, I wouldn't call it fulfilling a dream, but it is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, have a look at these places around Brighton. And even though the weather's been poor and they didn't sell hats in the mod shop, John in the mod shop, I'll give a shout out for him. Uh, I'll put the details at the end 
definitely pay him a visit. He's in a, starring in a new movie uh, soon, is what he was telling me. He's a great guy, he actually came out and took my photograph from me. So if you're ever in Brighton, definitely pay him a visit. He's an interesting bloke, nice to talk to. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Guys, I hate that, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.